We're back in Forza Horizon 5 and checking out a brand new vehicle and it's going to be this thing. This is the 2016 Abarth by Posto 695. Absolute weird name, but uh, whatever. It's an Abarth, okay? It's based off of a little Fiat or the Fiat's based off of this thing. I really don't know, but it's still a little cool thing, right? It has race windows. I just realized that. Look at the windows. Do you see that? It has like the little race insert window. I didn't know that. I I just realized that. That's crazy. Okay, so this thing is basically a little race car, a uh, little golf cart. This car does have about 186 horsepower, 183 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 2,200 pounds, and it has a 1.4 liter engine. It is front wheel drive, unfortunately. We are going to be rally racing this thing, so we are going to need to swap that into an all wheel drive variant, but front wheel drive it is for the stock version, and it looks pretty good. Honestly, I've seen one or two of these a bars in real life. Like, yes, I have. I've seen Fiat's, but I've only seen one or two actual a bars in this in like my area. Let's explode the entire thing. See what we can see. Freaking Forza answered my freaking prayers, man. Look at that. You can open everything in this car. Everything. Love it. Forza, you're doing good. You're doing good. Just don't mess up next time. Do not mess up next time. Okay, carbon fiber it is, man, for the entire engine bay. I really can't see anything. Um, it, the 1.4 cylinder engine is in there somewhere. 1.4 liter engine is in there somewhere. But uh, there it is. Looking snazzy. I like the front end with the exposed intercooler right there on the bottom. That looks pretty sick. Love that. Uh, the lights look kind of weird. They look like uh, that dude from uh, Lilo and Stitch. I don't remember his name. The guy with the multiple eyes. One of the aliens. I don't remember his name. I'll put a picture up. But that's what it looks like to me. Fully raced out interior. But before we get into that, let's check out the back end. Look at that. We do have raced out interior with the roll cage on it. With actual race seat belts that are connected to the roll cage. So to keep you in place F ever you know you get into an accident or something in this thing um those are there to keep you in place uh dual outlet exhaust i think there's a ring light right there on the bottom in the middle of that diffuser but that diffuser looks pretty damn sick as well loving that quite a bit of space back here honestly especially for a race car it is a hatchback so i would assume maybe you could probably fit uh one two three maybe four if you stack them on top of each other um three comfortably though that would be nice Actually, you know what? No, you never mind. You can probably fit like one or two in there. A typical body ranges from like five feet to six feet. So I don't know how you're going to stuff one in there. Maybe like one or two. I retract my previous statement of four. I think one or two you can fit in there. Let's hop into the inside. Fully raced out door. Look at that. Carbon fiber shell too on the door paneling with a little net there. Um, little bit of creature comforts. Look at that gear shifter. It is a sequential manual transmission. So there is a clutch right there on the bottom with a sequential on it. And that's pretty sick. We also have a manual handbrake on there. Kind of bucket seats looking pretty snazzy up in here. Um, the middle end. Where are the AC vents? I just realized. Uh, there's a circle right there on the left. There's a circle over there on the right. Where are the ones right here in the middle? Are they like up there? Why is it being blocked by that screen? That's kind of unfortunate right there, but that's fine. Those are the biggest AC controls I've ever seen in my life. Look at how big those knobs are, man. We are here at Mullahead Town Scramble in our little Abarth. I don't know why I'm in first person. Front wheel drive. A little bit of a launch. Pretty nice. So we are in a rally race. It is cloudy. It is post rain. And it is in the wet season. This thing is 657, I think, in B class. So there's that. It is also in the hot hatch category right so we are against other hot hatches of the same caliber but wow this thing is a little it sounds pretty good like i don't know it sounds really good actually very throaty i feel like with some upgrades to the exhaust it's gonna sound even better honestly maybe with some anti-lag that'll be kind of cool see a little rally car out of this thing being that this thing is front wheel drive it does actually turn pretty darn well in the corners and it is very like twitchy i guess if you like like i don't know how to explain it but if you barely touch the the steering it'll like turn on you like really really fast it's it's insane it's very touchy but it's worth it i think it, i think it's pretty good for a front wheel drive car most of the time you do have a lot of understeer on front wheel drive but or oversteer i think it's oversteer but this one's actually pretty balanced moving on to the third lap we are in second place first place is just up ahead we just finished passing fourth and third currently behind me which is good so we are in second place i think we're, we're going to be able to get first place in the stock form b class 657 
That's gonna be pretty darn snazzy. To unlock this car, all I have to do is bang out 20 points. It's it's easy. It's not even that hard. I'm trying to catch up to this guy up here in front, but he keeps pulling away from me for some unknown reason. We have like rubber banding and a half going on. I'm gonna take this corner sort of professionally. And still he like goes away. I mean I did kind of mess up that corner a little bit, but it's fine. I think we did gain a little bit, but it wasn't enough to where like we're like right next to him. Alright, I'm gonna full send right here. Full send right here. Oh, I did break a little bit, but uh, it's fine. We're going to get first place in the stock variant of the Abarth 695 by Posto, which is absolutely insane. First place in a stock variant vehicle is kind of hard sometimes, but we made it happen here. Now, let's go fit this thing with some upgrades and see what this thing can do after that. Here we are at the upgrade shop in our 695 by Posto Abarth from 2016. See what kind of engine swaps we can throw onto this thing. We only have one, unfortunately. We have the stock engine putting out 186 horsepower. And we have an inline 4 turbo rally putting 300 horsepower. I'm going to keep the stock powertrain for this specific vehicle purpose because I do like the way the stock one sounds. I'm going to do all-wheel drive because we are going to be rally racing in this thing so that's gonna be sick do we have any body mods nope it's all fours arrow very very stupid very very unfortunate i would have loved a little wide body kit from a barth or something like that that would have been kind of cool tires we are going to be rallying this thing so we do need rally tire compound we are also going to be throwing 245s on the rear what about the front 245s on the front okay pretty squared off we do have track width let's extend those wheels flush with the fender or past the fender actually coming over to brake options the brakes on this car are actually pretty good as they are but there's always room for improvement so we're going to throw some upgraded uh brakes onto this thing we are going to throw on any roll bars front and back we do have some suspension upgrades so i'm going to do rally suspension but if you want to use uh race suspension and drift suspension which drops it down a little bit more i'm going to do rally how much weight can we take out 286 pounds it's already raced out like the interior is already raced out so there's a race seat and everything so taking 200 and almost 300 pounds out of this thing is actually very re like reasonable and respectable installing the setup we weigh 1990 pounds man sub 2000 pounds we have 420 horsepower basically we're at the sort of bottom of s1 class 834 and it's going to cost us 80,000 credits to complete the setup i did not want to put on the uh, inline four turbo rally engine just because I do like how the stock engine sounds and there's nothing quite like an upgraded exhaust on a stock engine in this game coming over to designs and paints the stock paint option is going to be great like a matte gray if you wanted to you could throw on some other options other colors make it pop a little bit more I think for this specific purpose I think a yellow actually looks pretty darn sick honestly like this kind of yellow right here looking pretty snazzy I'm gonna do this type of yellow we're back at Mulehead Town Scramble in our fully upgraded Abarth 695. Oh, I completely messed up that launch. Absolutely messed up that launch, but we'll make it up. Look at how fast this thing launches, man. We're at 100 miles an hour already. Anti-lag is on this car. Like, insanely on this car. It spits a lot of flames, this car, actually, with anti-lag on it. It's kind of crazy. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. You. All-wheel drive in the little Abarth is pretty mental, actually. It's a freaking rocket ship. Even with 420 horsepower, like, we don't need 600 and something horsepower out of that turbo rally engine, right? On the stock engine, 420 horsepower seems to be very, very well. Um, even more than enough, actually. On the road, this thing seems to be doing pretty darn well. It does still handle corners pretty darn good, actually. Oh, shoot. Little hop off the, off the little crest that was there. This car is good, man. It'll drift around a corner in, like, fourth gear. But it absolutely zooms when you need it to. Moving on to the third lap. We are in first place. Absolutely not demolishing competition. But we we pretty much are owning them. Right? Because we're in first place. Right? That's all that matters. It doesn't matter how far in front of second place we are. We're still in first regardless of the matter. The only thing that I've noticed about this car that does kind of suck are the brakes. For some reason, the brakes don't really work as well as I thought they would. Even after upgrading them. Holy shoot. I did not mean to drift that corner. That was that was crazy, actually. But uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't know, man. The brakes in this thing, like after upgrading them, I would have thought they would have been a lot better than what they were. They were already pretty good, like to begin with. But I don't know. Like brakes for some reason aren't really breaking, if that makes sense. All right, here we go. Final stretch. 
in first place. We're going to take it on the third lap. Absolutely insane. This thing is a rocket ship, okay? It really is. It launches out of corners pretty dang good. Like, it's mind-blowing. In, like, third gear, maybe fourth. It'll do it in fourth gear, too. It'll, it'll drift. But if you leave it in fourth gear coming out of a corner and you give it gas, bro, you're, like, being sent back. Like, it's, it's insane. Here we are at the highway about to run a top speed test on the Abarth 695 by Postal. Let's see what this thing can do. I'm going to launch this thing in, I'll say, third gear. Oh, come on. There we go. Third gear, boosted launch at about 3,500 RPM. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, no wheel spin. 420 horsepower. You have that anti-lag after every single shift. The exhaust, it like blows out some flames. So it's not going to be the fastest thing. I did build this car for rally racing, so it's not going to have a crazy, crazy top speed or anything. Especially if you have the stock engine at 420 horsepower. This is maxed out. Like 173, we're still gaining 175. But I think with the... I want to say with the 600 horsepower, you maybe could get 220 miles an hour out of this thing. But in the stock engine, fully upgraded, we're rocking 176 currently. I'm going to see if I tune down the car a little bit, if it will actually go a little bit faster. I'm going to do a 78 on the 7th gear option and see what that does. Hopefully we can hit like 180, 185 maybe. That would be nice going downhill. But uh, right now, we are still currently... Oh, there we go, 180. Wow. 181. Hitting up the flat stretch, 182. We seem to be holding pretty respectably 182 miles an hour. Realistically, this is very slow. Okay, a lot of other cars and rally cars, they're, they're like, what? 230 miles an hour or more? This thing's doing 180. Again, it is on the stock engine fully upgraded, so it does only have 420 horsepower instead of the 670 that the inline four turbo rally can actually give you but i think for racing purposes only the 420 horsepower engine is more than enough in a small rally course okay now if you're if you're in a race and there's a lot of stretches like long stretch roads you're not going to win you're not going to be anything on that race but in terms of like short stretch uh you know cornering i think we hit 184 on that downhill portion i think I didn't even pay attention, <laughs> but I think for short road courses or for short rally courses, this thing is absolutely amazing. Handling this corner pretty darn well, 180 miles an hour. It went from 182 to 180. What about this corner? This corner is a little bit tighter. Oh, there's a little bit of understeer into like a small little drift. Went all the way down to 150 miles an hour. That's insane. Final verdict on the Abarth 695 by Postal from 2016. It is a definite, definite cop. All you need to do to bang this thing out is come over here to the Festival Players. Come over to the Autumn Season. Bang out 20 points in Autumn. And the Abarth 695 will be yours. It is an exclusive vehicle. So if you don't get it now, you're not going to get it anytime soon. Until they drop it again later on in a different update. There's also an Alfa Romeo 4C, another exclusive car for 40 points. We're going to be unlocking that one soon. And we're going to be checking out that one here on the channel. So stay tuned for that if you guys do want to check that out here with me. Anyways, that is it, man. The Abarth 695 doing pretty damn well. Stock uh, variant, it got first place. And upgraded variant, it got first place. Top speed at about 184, 185 miles an hour. That's going downhill. It'll cruise at about 180 on the stock engine at 420 horsepower. Anyways, that's going to wrap it off for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smack the like button. Subscribe for new turbo post notifications. All of that jazz. Trying to make it 3,000 subs by the end of the month. The end of next month. I'll say the end of next month. The end of September, 3,000 subs. Let's see if we can handle that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.